Hello everyone and welcome to the very first edition of Ruricon's Random. So basically, uh, I, this is another new segment. I know that I've been coming up with a lot of new segments lately, but I will soon be organizing all that and explaining which, what each segment is about and when I'm going to be doing them and all that kinds of good stuff. But for now it suffice to say that I call this random because I can't call it a review because I don't own the full game that I'm going to be commenting and I can't call it a preview either because this game has already came out a long time ago. So basically I called this Ruricons Random because I wanted to do commentary on this game and that's basically it. The game is, as most people will have recognized by now, Heavenly Sword. Now I obviously don't have this game because I bought my PlayStation like in August so in August of 2010 obviously so basically this game came out, I believe, at the release date of the PlayStation 3. So it's really, really old, and I've really been focusing like on the new titles and on the great titles of the PlayStation 3. And that's the reason why I don't have Heavenly Sword. Even though it's a great title, awesome title, I have other priorities right now. And especially with all the new games that are coming out right now, like Dead Rising 2, Vanquish, and a lot of other great titles are just coming up right now. And... Basically, I, I really, it's like, ah, damn, I really want to go play this older game, but there's all this new stuff coming out, and I really got to make videos about the new stuff, so basically I'm going to dedicate some little time here to speaking about this uh, older game, because I think this is a game worth mentioning, because it was really, really awesome for the time it came out. It was one of the best-looking games ever when it came out, in fact. At least I believe so, from what I saw on TV and whatever. So basically I'm going to give you guys a really basic commentary on this game um, and the thing about this game is um, from what I could tell from the demo it has a really uh, intricate combo system which unfortunately I really didn't check out how the combo system worked so I know that I end up button mashing through a lot of this um, this commentary but the thing is even through my button mashing, I could really see that there was a pattern of combos of when I was using like the sword separately, when I would unite them together to make two-handed movements, and when I would use the chains god of warish like thing on the sword. I mean, I could really tell that there was a difference and that depending on the way I used it, I could chain combos together in different ways. And I think that's really, really a, a positive thing. Because even though I could like pull it off with button mashing, I could tell that like I, like if I would go at a higher difficulty, I would definitely definitely have to learn the combos for sure. I mean seriously, because there's like this really intricate combo system to this game, and I really wish I would have studied it better. But anyways, here's the game. As you can see, the visuals, even though it's in standard definition, because I still don't have a high definition recorder, even though it's in standard definition, you can definitely tell that it has really, really cool graphics. Now, as you start the game, you have some small quick time events that you're watching here right now on screen. Like, for instance, now you have to press left, uh, right to go to a different rope. And now you have to press X to run faster, otherwise you're left hanging. Then you have to go left to change the rope yet again. And now you just keep running faster and faster. And she's going to be jumping onto the platform where the enemies are. And you kick one in the face. Standard stuff. And now you just start hacking and slashing. As you can see, this was actually my second take because on the first take I messed up the sound. And basically that's the reason why you saw me just show up there and own everything because I was already like doing dual wield attacks. Now obviously I'm not all that pro at this game but I think I'm doing pretty good. It's basically also because I've played God of War for such a long time. I've, I've had a lot of fun with God of War 3 as you guys know and this game um, 